The global race to build sixth-generation fighter jets is no longer a concept. It's a reality unfolding right now. The United States, China, and Europe are pushing the limits of aviation with next-gen aircraft designed for stealth, speed, AI coordination, and unmatched firepower. The F-47, J-36 Bidey, GCAP, and FCS are not just machines. They're strategic weapons that could reshape military power for decades. This video breaks down their capabilities, timelines, and what sets each apart. By the end, you'll understand why this race matters, who's ahead, and how these jets are changing the future of air combat forever. The race for sixth-generation fighter jets has intensified, with major global powers unveiling ambitious projects aimed at redefining air combat. At the forefront is the United States F-47, a product of the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program. Developed by Boeing, the F-47 boasts a tailless design optimized for stealth and agility. Its adaptive cycle engines enable speeds exceeding Mach 2, while thrust vectoring enhances maneuverability. Integrated radar absorbent materials and embedded engine placement further reduce its infrared signature, making it a formidable presence in the skies. The F-47 is projected to enter service in the 2030s, with development costs estimated between $80 to $300 million per unit. China's response is the J-36, a stealth fighter developed by the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation. The J-36 features a tailless, flying wing design, emphasizing stealth capabilities. Powered by three WS-10C turbofan engines, it is designed for high-speed operations at extreme altitudes. The aircraft's large internal weapons bay is believed to house advanced munitions, potentially including the PL-17 air-to-air missile with a range of up to 3,000 kilometers. Reports indicate that the J-36 has been undergoing testing since 2024, marking a significant milestone in China's pursuit of air dominance. Europe is not standing idle in this technological race. The Future Combat Air System FCS, is a collaborative effort by France, Germany, and Spain to develop a sixth-generation fighter. The FCS emphasizes modularity and interoperability, aiming to integrate seamlessly with various land, sea, and air assets for comprehensive multi-domain operations. Powered by engines developed by Safran and MTU, the FCS is designed to adapt to evolving threats through scalable stealth features and advanced sensor integration. However, the program faces challenges, with an operational target set for 2040, raising concerns about its timely deployment amid rapid advancements by other nations. In parallel, the Global Combat Air Program GCAP, represents a multinational collaboration between the United Kingdom, Italy, and Japan. The CAPS design features a tailless delta wing configuration, optimized for both stealth and agility. Equipped with twin engines developed by Rolls-Royce and IHI, the aircraft aims to minimize radar cross-section while ensuring high performance. The GCP places a strong emphasis on man-to-man -man teaming, utilizing AI-driven combat cloud technology for sensor fusion and enhanced battlefield awareness. A demonstrator flight is planned for 2027, with operational deployment targeted for 2035, positioning the GCAP as a significant player in the future of aerial combat. The leap to sixth-generation fighters is characterized by groundbreaking technological advancements that promise to redefine air combat. Central to these innovations is the integration of artificial intelligence AI, and enhanced network capabilities. The F-47, for instance, incorporates an AI co-pilot capable of processing real-time data for target prioritization and coordinating drone swarm operations. This loyal wingman concept involves deploying autonomous unmanned aerial vehicles UVs, for reconnaissance and saturation attacks, effectively extending the reach and versatility of manned missions. Stealth and survivability remain paramount in sixth-generation designs. The F-47 employs adaptive cycle engine masking and heat-dispersing nozzle designs to reduce detectability. The GCAP utilizes S-shaped ducting and fuselage-embedded engines to minimize radar signatures. The FCS focuses on absorptive surface materials and classified infrared suppression techniques to enhance stealth capabilities. 
The J36 incorporates radar absorbent coatings and engine shielding to reduce its radar cross section, aligning with its emphasis on stealth missions. Armament and range are also critical factors. The F 47 is equipped with hypersonic air to air missiles with an estimated range of 800 kilometers and directed energy weapons, providing a significant standoff capability. China's aggressive pace with the J-36 reflects a broader military strategy, fast development, early deployment, and sheer scale. The Chinese model thrives on rapid iteration, get it into the sky, improve on the go, and produce in numbers. If reports are accurate and the J-36 has already entered its testing phase in 2024, China might not only field a 6th gen jet earlier than Europe, but potentially reshape power dynamics in the Indo-Pacific through sheer operational availability. Meanwhile, the U.S. is balancing a different equation. The F-47 isn't just meant to be a plane, it's the nucleus of a broader, next-generation air dominance framework. But that kind of ambition doesn't come cheap or fast. With unit costs ranging from $80 million to potentially $300 million, questions arise about whether even the U.S. military budget can afford mass deployment. If only a limited number are built, would that dilute the strategic value of all the groundbreaking tech inside? The GCAP presents a different kind of message, one of multinational synergy. The collaboration between the UK, Italy, and Japan isn't just technical. It's political. It reinforces shared defense priorities among key allies and creates a common architecture that can integrate with NATO systems or operate independently. If successful, GCAP could become the blueprint for future defense programs rooted in transcontinental partnerships. In contrast, the FCAS, while admirable in vision, continues to struggle under the weight of intra-European disagreements. Bureaucracy and competing national interests are dragging its progress. With a target entry in 2040, it risks launching into a world where its once groundbreaking features may already be outpaced or countered by adversaries. Strategically, this entire sixth-generation race is about far more than technology, it's about messaging. Whichever nation or alliance gets there first won't just have a tactical edge, they'll send a loud signal to the rest of the world. We lead in air dominance. In a time of growing global tensions, from the Indo-Pacific to Eastern Europe, that signal can tip diplomatic scales, influence defense alliances, and even prevent or provoke future conflicts. This is no longer a Cold War-style arms race. It's a global reshuffling of air power where AI, stealth, data fusion, and multilateral cooperation are the currencies of control. The sixth-generation fighter race isn't just about who builds the best jet. It's about who redefines the battlefield. The F-47 brings unmatched tech muscle. The J-36 pushes speed and scale. GCAP shows power through partnership and FCS dreams of a unified Europe in the skies. From AI co-pilots to drone swarms and hypersonic missiles, we're entering a new era where air superiority means information dominance and strategic foresight. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.